Hello and welcome to Rising 2019, the event that I personally have been looking forward to since we first laid eyes on its rewards. This event then kicks off in Costa del Sol, a little out on the Bloodshore, which is, as you may remember, where the recent Moonfire Fair event kicked off for this year. Gone are the jumping puzzle attractions and instead is this quest for all characters level 30 and above, the message in a bottle quest. This will unlock, as you can see, the main reward from this event, which is the brave new Yishtola minion, which looks like this, which is pretty cool and I'll do a separate video reading the lore behind this and its interactions. Throughout a series of cutscenes then through this storyline that I won't spoil for you today, you get the chance to meet up with an old friend, let's say, and it's quite a touching series of dialogue for sure. After you finish and get your minion reward, a new repeatable quest will appear. This is where you'll be able to continue to help up clearing up the shoreline from the Moonfire Fair by picking up further messages inside bottles. Every time you do a quest, they give you 10 rising tokens as a reward. These tokens can actually be exchanged literally next to the repeatable quest NPC with this rising vendor. Remember, you can hold X on PC to hide other players' titles and names, and then you'll be able to see it, which can be tricky if you're here at peak times with the amount of players doing the same, as you can see in this footage. This vendor then will allow you to get a number of items this week, including the Stormblood related patch artwork. This is six pieces of unique artwork incorporated into the game as housing items and indeed as posters for your wall. These are very cool and each poster will cost you five rising tokens each, so just by doing the repeatable quest once you can pick up two posters if you'd like. Here they all are then on my wall in my private room, which I think you'll agree look really great together. It's definitely one part of the patch cycle that I always hope gets more love each time, and the actual artwork they use to promote each one on the lodestone in my opinion is just frankly amazing, and it's great to find have all of these as collectibles to remember Stormblood by. In addition to posters, you can actually get some fireworks from this event. Just one rising token individually will get you 10 of any firework that you want from the vendor. Included is the previous event fireworks and a new one as well. Here we are then with all of the fireworks, which look great here in low light as you can see, and the low cost makes stockpiling these easy to do in a short amount of time, which I know a lot of people in the community like to do because they run their own events in game or for role playing situations where, you know, you can never have enough Realm Reborn Red, that's for sure. There is then one last reward from this event, and this is not a physical reward, this is then in the form of the side quest itself. Every time then that you bring back a bottle with a message in it, on this repeatable quest you will actually get a cutscene. There are then in fact six small bottle messages, seven medium and five large to see in total. Each from a different NPC you may have met across your many ventures in the world of Eorzea and they vary in spoilers, but apparently you will actually only see some of these messages depending on your current main storyline progression. There is one that I saw that was related to the Shadowbringers MSQ completion, for example, that you won't see unless you've completed that. I might actually do a video reading those out tomorrow for you as well, because they're quite interesting. And that's pretty much Rising 2019. What did you think personally? Do you think the minion and some posters was worth it as rewards? Personally, the minion alone made me happy, and the posters are a welcome addition to my collection. Let me know below, and I'll see you all next time.